Welcome! Today we are going to learn how to measure elapsed time going backwards. Before we begin, let's review some important vocabulary. Elapsed time is the amount of time that passes from the start of an activity to the end. A minute is a unit used to measure time. One minute equals 60 seconds. An hour is another unit used to measure time. One hour equals 60 minutes. To measure elapsed time, we are going to use a number line. Our number lines for elapsed time will count by intervals of one hour, 10 minutes, and one minute. In our last video, we learned to record an hour as a big pointy mountain, and 10 minutes as a medium-sized hill, and one minute as a small rock. Let's practice finding elapsed time backwards with this story problem. Melissa took her bread out of the oven at 6.45 p.m. The bread baked for one hour and 15 minutes. What time did she put the bread in the oven? First, make a number line. And since you know the ending time, record the ending time on the right side of the number line. Now I will subtract the largest amount of time first. The bread baked for one hour, so I am going to make and label one hour mountain. 645 minus one hour is 545. Now I will subtract groups of 10 minutes. I will create one hill to subtract the 110 within 15 minutes. 545 minus 10 minutes is 535. Now it is time to subtract the one minute rocks. Since these are so tiny, I will only record the new time at the end. 535 minus five minutes equals 530. Now we've solved the problem and know that Melissa put her bread in the oven at 530. In this video, we learned how to measure elapsed time going backwards. Thanks for watching.